Hello, so today we're going to be making a DIY unicorn pillow because unicorns? You'll only need a couple of things. So I'm using varnish glue, which is a kind of Mod Podge and dries clear. And I chose to use a sewing machine for this because it's more durable, but you could also use fabric glue. Begin by folding the fabric in half and making sure that you have enough room for your pillow, including seam allowance. I'm using a pillow as a reference for size and marking on fabric where I'll need to cut. And then just cut it out with epic music in the background, which makes your unicorn pillow so much snazzier. Trust me. Next, cut your design out and trace it on the fabric. And I'm warning you, if you're not doing a unicorn on your pillow, then this is probably not going to work, so just saying. What is a unicorn without sparkles, you may ask? Well, just pour some of your liquid glue and sprinkle on glitter. I recommend using fine glitter as I'm doing here, because otherwise it can be hard to make it stay on properly. Just remember that the more glitter you use, the less coats you'll have to paint on. But don't add so much glitter that your, your mixture becomes gloopy and hard to apply. Time to paint! You must begin with the horn, source of all magic. Then paint the outline and fill it in gradually. You can paint on quite a thick layer, but make sure it isn't overly gloopy because although the fabric does absorb some of the glue, if you make it too gloopy, it will show in the end. Depending on how thick your fabric is and how much glue you're using, you may want to protect your surface with a plastic sheet. Just don't use paper as it will stick to your fabric. Keep adding layers until you're happy with the way it looks. You can add more glitter in the areas where your unicorn looks a little naked because we don't want that. Now it's time to put the pillow together. Fold your fabric in half again so that the right sides are touching. Now sew along two of the four sides since one of our sides is already folded and doesn't need to be sewn and leave an opening on the fourth side. If you use two pieces of fabric rather than one folded in half, don't forget to sew your three full sides and obviously leave an opening on the fourth one. Of course, if you avoid sewing like the plague, I'm sure your fabric glue will come in handy. And just for extra security, because I'm completely paranoid, I'm double knotting all of the threads or even triple knotting all of the threads to make sure that they are not going anywhere. I'm also cutting off all the extra fabric around the seam to make sure that the pillow isn't too bulky. I'm recycling batting here so to make sure it's super fluffy I'm ripping it apart in my fingers to make sure that it's nice and voluminous. Now once your pillow is stuffed to your liking, it's time to close it up. So you can either use hot glue or hand sew the opening shut. Um, I'm going to use hot glue because I'm lazy. So I just fold over both sides, apply my hot glue and then squeeze together really well until it's cold to touch. Just to make sure that both sides are pressed together really firmly and that no batting will escape. And then you're done! Here is your unicorn pillow. You may enjoy it in all its sparkliness. If you do want to do another design, I guess it's okay as long as it's sparkle approved. Thank you so much for watching and please request any DIY tutorials in the comments below. I'd love to try and do them for you.